Hey guys, Super Guys Guy here. Today I was very surprised to receive this big box here. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the little logo there um, says Robo 3D. This is in fact uh, one of the very first projects I backed on Kickstarter, and um, it's a 3D printer made by a company called Robo 3D. And here it is, um, it's shipped in this very heavily taped box. Um, and I, um, the original delivery day was supposed to be end of April, and they did not get their parts in time, yada, yada, yada. This is the end of July, and finally they ship it out, and I did not even get a tracking number until this morning. And then two hours later, this thing shows up by my doorstep, which I'm very glad that it got here. And um, I've never done any sort of 3D printing before, so this will be a very nice uh, start. Very excited to see if this is anywhere similar to the concept drawing they have. Yeah, a lot of packaging tape. So. Um, obviously, this is not a sort of retail product um, that you can buy. Um, just tip the forward. It's um, more packing tape, pack everything inside with the um, styrofoam around the top. Um, let me take it out and, um, and set it up. Okay, so here it is. Um, there is some accessory. As you can see, this is not a retail package product, although well, they did include some filament that's tied to something, some blue filament, which is good because I was worried about uh, if I order some online, they won't be here real quick. Let's get this shrink wrap thing off. So the top case, I was worried about it might get cracked for shipping. That's some heavy duty packaging. Finally got this thing loose so you can see this is the, um, the print head here. And this must be the print bed that's heated um, to basically whatever you print goes on it. Okay, oof. So these are the, what they call PLA plastics. They, they include, let me find out how much they include. They include about 36 grams of the filament. So right, they, right now they run about $40 per kilogram. And I paid, including shipping, like $580? Or is it a bit more? I think it's $580 um, to get this. You know, I wish they could throw in at least one kilogram of this filament stuff. You know, they're selling on their website for $30, but they charge a little bit too much for shipping. I wish they include a one kilogram to get you started, you know, because to calibrate this thing, I'm sure this, I can't even print. I don't know what I can print with this um, 34 gram worth of an object. Um, so the reason I choose them is because of Kickstarter, I want to start fun something. It was like a fun project to try out, first of all. Um, second of all, um, they are a lot cheaper than the, let's say com competitors with similar sort of polished product, at least from visually speaking. Actually, I have it backwards. Let me put the front face, you guys. So visually speaking, it is a very polished product. You have their, you know, uh, main logo up front says Robo 3D, and it's a some molded plastic as a cover. As you, internally, you can see, it's 
It looks more polished than most of the 3D printer that I've seen at uh, Maker's Fair. But of course, it's not as polished as the Replicator 2, the MakerBot. Um, that is a very polished product, and I've seen it in person. It costs, you know, two thousand dollars to get it. This is at a quarter of the cost. And given how polished it looks, you know, I feel like it's a good opportunity to get my feet wet into the 3D printing market. And um, if you have an online instruction, I think this is the USB cable and the power cord. Uh, let's do a walk around. Yeah, it's a USB cord and power cord. It's just regular USB, A to B, and then three prong AC power, power adapter built in. And there's a little cooler fan. Um, I don't know where am I supposed to install this or plug the pin into, but they have a very nice um, user form and they are very responsive in answering user questions. I definitely interested in uh, figure out there's some assembly required, I guess. Um, is let me take out the uh, assembly. Some assembly required, as you can see, it's a very small cooling fan. Um, I do remember seeing one of these fans on the MakerBot that's on the print head to cool, keep it cool. But um, I don't know why, if it's essential, why don't they install it or come with a print out and say how to install this before you start using it. But anyways, um, I'll figure out what the heck that fan is. So this is the front of the printer. There's a Robo 3D. And um, to put my hand in comparison, the print bed is fairly decent. And as you can see, the height of it is also give a lot of clearance. Um, this basically dictates how big the object that you can print. Of course, you can always print smaller objects and assemble them later. So this is the side of the case. And this is the back. There is a voltage switch. Right now, it's set on 115 volt. And um, I also believe that it can switchable to 220. So you can actually use it at um, if you're not with the United States. That's a very nice design. And the cutout is pretty smooth. And the switch seems to be easily switched. And um, there is the power switch. Uh, they're not recessed, which it's still pretty rough, but you know, it's not bad. At least you don't see things coming out of it. Um, so this is the power supply, power switch, and the power port. And the on the right side of the printer is the USB port right here. So all in all, you do see some um, cables like inside. This will be the left side inside the printer. And this is the extruder. And that's the where you guide the filament in. And um, this is the belt. Uh, as you can see, um, there, you do see some cables, and uh, I do not have the specs uh, memorized um, to see how big it can print or how fast this thing can move. Uh, it does print um, down to 100 micron in terms of layer thickness. Of course, that's going to make it very slow in terms of printing. Um, I'm probably going to do most things at 300 micron, unless that's not desirable. Then uh, I will need to see so oh interesting so basically look at this you have the sort of the vertical screw guiding rod right here that's the up and down the X axis and then you have the or the Y axis anyway that's one of the vertical axis and you have the belt driving the head going to horizontal axis and the depth I think it's the bed itself that actually doing the moving of the back and forth in this side motion to give the 3D motion. So it's not the head itself that does all three directions. The head moves in two directions and the bed handles the last dimension, which is pretty cool. I hope the wiring is good because I have no idea what they are. And I have not seen the pin plug for the little fan yet, but I'm sure it's online. And you can see the head is right there. The 
and it's got protected. So I think that's what it is. I'm not sure. Um, so the final size, and this is, must be the hitting element for the for the bed. So I don't know the actual footprint of this because this bed portion actually moves. So um, actually moves. So that might come out the case. So I don't know the actual footprint of the actual when it's actually working is of the same size as the printer or not. But um, there you have it. This is my first 3D printer. Very excited. Um, there's a lot of things that I want to make, a lot of things on Thingiverse I want to print with this, and I can't wait. Um, and this is the slot for the uh, filament to go in. And I, haven't, I don't know anything except, you know, this is it. I'm sure I'll have a lot of learning to do over the next couple of days to figure out how to actually properly use this thing. Um, or how to take this thing off safely without damaging. So, there you have it. Um, this is my first Kickstarter project that I backed. Um, hopefully, my the other two will, you know, send me the stuff as well. It's you know, it's always a risk involved with new projects like this. I'm very glad that these guys and gals is able to pull through and um, get this beautiful 3D printer out on the user's hand. And you can actually go to the website and order it. I think right now they retail for $5.99. That's a retail price versus the $5.29. I think I pay for as the Kickstarter, so $70 cheaper. This is the PLA version. They do have a version that does both PLA and ABS plastic. Um, I was afraid ABS might smell a little bit, but I just ordered the PLA, but I don't know. I've seen it in store. Um, it is actually fairly quiet. Not this one, the Maker's Bot. It's pretty quiet and um, it does not smell, has no fume, but I don't know how this one works. At least I know there's no film. Fume, because it uses the same filament. It's just that this is uh, not a maker's bar replicator. So, very, very excited of this. Um, if you have something, um, have any questions, let me know. Or if you have any suggestions or tips or anything, uh, let me know. Because I am, right now my goal is not break it. <laughs> and uh, hopefully produce something that remotely uh, resembles what I wanted to print. And um, we'll go from there. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and like my video. Uh, your support, that means everything to me. Thank you.